sports 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 talk zone welcome back to another episode of sports talk zone i am your host renaudra along michael aka the guru michael world cup has finally been concluded and your champion is none other than argentina with the great goat lionel messi going to penalties 3-3 three, three, the game finished went to penalties and argentina managed to win it in the penalties what did you think about this exciting phenomenal game today yeah very very exciting possibly one of the best world cup finals ever greatest we've ever seen in our time <laughs> greatest trust me and as you would have said argentina won congratulations to Lionel messi getting that trophy which has been eluding him for the longest while which some people has been saying oh he can't be the greatest unless he wins it and i guess what they're gonna say now Gold <laughs> conversation is <laughs> over I don't want to hear any more conversation about who is the GOAT. It's finished. Regardless if he won it or not, I would have had him as the GOAT. Yes, you know but that for all the naysayers, for all who exactly. like, if Messi did not win this World Cup, he's not the GOAT. Okay, what are you going to say now? What are you going to say now? Absolutely nothing. Trust me, but yeah, this one was hard fought. It didn't come easy. And to just break down the game, for about the first 70 minutes to 80 minutes, it was just all Argentina. Especially within like the first five minutes, Argentina was pressing, pressing. I was wondering if France was actually on the field because it just looked like it was an exhibition game for Argentina. Yep, yep, yep. France was, was just like Jamaica. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> it was just all Argentina and I could not understand um Di Maria on the left was left free every single time and even both goals came from that side where Di Maria won the penalty and then the next one when it was sent cross to him he was just left free each time exactly Mm -hmm. I'm saying how comes they're just allowing him free he's not France playing I don't understand they don't take this World Cup final serious and then I was when the coach made those substitution in the first half i was saying if this pulls off if france come back this will be a tactical genius because i'm saying within about yeah. the 40 minutes you're making these all these changes right away because you desperation. realize this. <laughs> desperation. exactly and i honestly thought going into the second half the game was done and over because no, no matter never. what france trust me it was like france couldn't do anything they zero shots zero everything is that they weren't you, playing Mikael, you have watched enough football to know that even though a team look like they're out and they are down and out with the with the quality that france have anything was possible in that game plus and argentina was under the drake curse don't forget that <laughs> <laughs> But that's the thing, the depth of that France squad and they went to bench, made the changes and you saw where it paid off because trust me, honestly about prior to France scoring that first goal, I was saying the game, I was literally going to say it's over because it was right up to the 80th minute. I was saying basically Argentina have the trophy because the coach took off Di Maria making certain changes. But then as I said, I heard the commentator say, for France to come back into this, we need a moment of brilliance and so said, so done. Yeah. Who has said the best player in the world, Kylian Mbappe? Calm down, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Second best player in the world. Keep going. But yeah, the upcoming goat, the yeah, man the, who's the gonna take goat. over the race. Yes, 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 indeed. Um, scoring the penalty and then that second goal within like two minutes after scoring the first one. Ish. brilliant volley brilliant brilliant mm. i don't know it's like when you got the ball press you could have said that you could have gotten it dribble it and go closer towards goal but the confidence he has and knowing his ability yeah. took that first time volley and it was a beautiful goal and then two two going into extra time and then when messi scored in extra time you thought that was it yes it's over now and but then I said, again <laughs> then again these players have to try their best to ruin Messi's legacy. <laughs> Trust me, at that time when 
France scored the third one, three three. I'm saying the momentum is with France. I don't know. It's like you felt. Yeah. It's yeah. like it yeah. just wasn't messy day because you uh, every time you're there, yes, you're getting pulled back. You're reaching finishing line, and you're getting pulled back. Mm. But penalties, congratulations, Argentina pulled it off. The keeper came up big. Even that in that like dying moments of extra time. Yes. The oh, the save that he the, made. The yes. Save of the game. A brilliant save. Don't forget that. Because that's I, what honestly, actually. I would say that's what actually won them the game. Yes, because um, I'm not sure if his name the number twelve. He got a brilliant opportunity to score that goal. I thought it was over for them right then and there. But as I say, it came up big for that save. Probably the save of the game. Yes. Put it into extra time. Yeah. And then, as I say. Argentina, congratulations to them. Lionel Messi, dream come true. So I'm happy for Messi. So happy for him, bro. <laughs> yeah. I had to shed a little tear. Had to. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations had to, to them. It was a game and it was everything. Because honestly, prior to, as I said, France coming back, I was disappointed in the finals or it was being played. But at the end of it all, I'm happy how it turned out. It was a competition. They fought for it. And yes, congratulations to Messi. 2026 until we meet back again for the World Cup. Well, yeah, I highly doubt <laughs> there will be a Messi in 2026. <laughs> but yeah, um for the first, I would say we have to give like special shout out to like Mbappe, to be honest. Because for the first 70 minutes and it's kind of sad that he scored a hat trick in the world cup finals i am i don't think it has ever been done before and still came out on the losing and and it's been overshadowed by all the glory that we are giving to messi and all these stuff but for for like the first 70 minutes of the game he was was not in the game he was nowhere to be found we we couldn't even believe that he was on the pitch <laughs> but then as great players do they find a way to make it happen for their team and it, we can literally say he put france on his back drag them back into the game every time because all of the opportunities that started to come in the game from france was coming down the side that mbappe was on or it was being created by him so I have to give him a shout out. I have to give Messi a shout out to brilliant game by him. Control the game, did everything in his power to ensure that um Argentina won this uh World Cup. He was stepping up to take the penalties. I'm telling you, every time there's a big moment and Messi go to take a penalty, I am like worried that he might miss it just because of the track record of like back in the Copa all of these stuff that he has missed very important penalties that people have you know bashed him about but it was it, today was like the, the, the greatest the, it probably is it probably is the greatest ever final in World Cup football that we have ever seen I don't I don't think there have ever been a greater final than this in World Cup football. Yeah, and the competition, the, well, the final was going was being promoted to say Mbappe versus Messi, and whole players came up big lived for up, the country. Lived exactly. Up, lived up. Lived up. So hats off to both yeah, of them, as yeah. you say. Messi with the play of the tournament, Mbappe with the golden boot. Golden boot. Yeah. yeah yeah and don't forget these are two psg players so <laughs> <laughs> and another thing this will definitely be a decider also in ballon d'or situations the fact that messi have won this world cup play the way he played this world cup don't forget he scored in the round of 16 quarterfinals semifinals and the finals finals never ever been done in the history of world cup and if he had scored that penalty in the Poland game, we would have scored in every single game of the World Cup. And that has never been done either. Um, I pretty much think that Messi is on the top of the table now for the Ballon d'Or. 
talk comes down to how Champions League go and the leagues go and all of these other things. But right now, the way he's, the way he played in this World Cup, there is no doubt that he's the best player in the best player in the world. Mbappe is second, but Messi is the best player in the world. No doubt, absolutely no doubt. <laughs> all right.